Today we're going to review healthcare provider respiratory arrest for the adult victim. Let's take a look at that. Doctor, somebody just dropped this person off outside the ER. Really? Hey there, Hollywood. No, he's unresponsive. Now remember, our approach to the adult patient is always the same. First, establish unresponsiveness. Check for breathing for five seconds. If the patient isn't breathing, call a code. Get some help coming. Next, check for a pulse. And this is where this scenario changes a little bit because we find when we check for a pulse in this adult patient, they have a pulse. They're just not breathing. Check for a pulse here. Got a good strong carotid pulse, but he is not breathing. Why don't you go ahead and bag this gentleman, start breathing for him. What's the rule on that? How often? One breath every five to six seconds. One breath every five to six seconds. We'll reassess for a pulse here in a couple of minutes. We should probably have PPE on. This guy looks like the walking poster child for hepatitis. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, nurse, I'd like to place an order for some Narcan for our contestant at table one here. So in a couple of minutes, we'll recheck his pulse. Now here's a helpful tip when you're performing bag valve mass ventilations on a patient who may still be breathing, but is not breathing either often enough or deep enough, and we're still going to have to provide them supplemental breaths. Now, if you look in the video, I have some slight pressure on the Ambu bag with my thumb. And by keeping this slight pressure, I can feel when the patient is about to take a breath, and then I can support that breath. So after each breath, I'm keeping slight pressure on the Ambu bag with my thumb. Now, I'm not trying to provide PEEP. I'm not trying to provide positive end expiratory pressure. I'm just keeping a little pressure on there so I can feel when the patient takes a breath and then I can support that spontaneous breath by the patient. By doing this, I can maintain synchrony with their breathing. This way, I'm not trying to give them a breath when they're exhaling and I'm not fighting the patient. If they don't take a breath in five to six seconds, I can provide them a breath. If the patient takes a spontaneous breath, I can go, I'll feel that and I can support that breath. But remember, keep a little pressure on the Ambu bag with your thumb. Now remember, if you don't have an Ambu bag, a bag valve mask device to provide ventilations, you can still do this with a barrier device. You can still provide mouth ventilations. A mask with a filter and a one-way valve would be preferred. 